Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. SIR Keir Starmer told the nation to judge me on my actions not on words as he kicked off the red dawn of labor. The newly minted PM hailed the moment in history as he gathered his top team labor's first cabinet meeting in a generation. Speaking at a press conference, he said our prisons and NHS are broken and vowed to put the government on a war footing to fix public services. And adopting a new laid-back style, he told civil servants they can call me Keir rather than prime minister. He also hit back at claims he has won off loveless landslide because 80% of Brits did not vote Labour, promising not to turn our back on anyone. Speaking in No Ten's wood-paneled state dining room, Sir Keir said, I reminded the entire cabinet that we will be judged on actions, not on words. We clearly on Thursday got a mandate from all four nations for the first time in 20 plus years. We have a majority in England, in Scotland and in Wales. And that is a clear mandate to govern for all four corners of the United Kingdom. Sir Keir announced that he will kick off his premiership with a two-day tour of all four nations of the United Kingdom. Attempting to draw a line in the sand with PMs who have gone before him, Sir Keir vowed to do politics differently and end sleaze and tribalism. He will hold meetings with regional mayors, regardless of the color of their rosette, he said. Putting his vow to transform Britain on a war footing, Sir Keir is setting up five mission delivery boards to deliver on each of Labour's key missions in government. These are kickstart growth, make Britain a clean energy superpower, tackle crime, smash barriers to opportunity and improve the NHS. Sir Keir will head each of these boards personally. The new PM has come in for some stick for getting a loveless landslide after stats showed 80% of Brits did not vote for his party despite them scoring one of the biggest majorities in 100 years. This is because just 33.7% of voters backed Labour and turnout was just shy of 60%. But Sir Keir tried to reassure anxious Brits who did not vote Labour that he will govern for them too. He said, we are a government of service to all people whether they voted for us or not. And I include within that people who voted Labour for the first time on Thursday. Because across the country in many places, people will have voted Labour for the first time. And I recognize that they put their trust and confidence in us. And we have to repay that so we hold them in our mind's eye. People who didn't vote for us need to know that we will serve and that we will not turn our back on people just because we don't think they voted for us. We will govern for the whole country. He promised to take the country forward and turn our back on tribal politics. In a blistering takedown of the state of Britain's public services, Sir Keir said the NHS and our prison system are broken. And he promised to adopt raw honesty and take tough decisions and take them early to improve them. But he denied this would mean hiking taxes. Sir Keir, 61, is the first Labour leader to win an election since Tony Blair in 2005. He and his wife Victoria are still deciding which flat they will move into with their two children in Downing Street. Although they are expected to have no 11, which is bigger than the one above no 10. Asked how he is getting on finding his way around the rabbit warren of rooms in Downing Street, he said he is getting there. The dad of two has promised his kids a dog, probably a German shepherd, on moving into Downing Street. And in words that echo David Cameron, he said civil servants can call him Keir if they want. Quizzed on what it feels like to be called Prime Minister, he said, I'm getting used to it. I'm very happy to be called Keir or Prime Minister. Earlier, his cabinet ministers had beamed as they skipped into No. 10 for their first meeting. Sitting next to his deputy Angela Rayner who wore a red dress, Sir Keir said, It was an honor and the privilege of my life to be invited by His Majesty the King to form a government and to form the Labour government of 2024. We have a huge amount of work to do, so now we get on with our work. Smiling broadly, his top team burst into a round of applause for the PM. The new PM continued his diplomatic blitz with Cal.